What's up everybody, Gamerboy for Life here, and today we are continuing on our hack client tutorial. Inside of this video, we will be doing bunny hop, so b hop, and a chest stealer, as requested by this user on screen from the previous episode. So let's just hop right into it. So first we're gonna do b hop, because b hop's super easy. We're just gonna I'm gonna put it inside of movements, because that's really easy. I'm gonna name the class bunny hop. Why not? And this is going to extend, oh, I cannot type today. This is going to extends module, and we need to import the module class just like normal. Add constructor. Get rid of all this and here. All right, and so the name, I'm just gonna name it bhop. Um, we do have to put a keybind for it because I do not actually have a current keybind. So we're gonna do keyboard.key underscore, let's just do Z for now. I'm changing it later on, but for now. And then category dot movement. In this class, uh, all you gotta put in here is two methods. We're gonna do override public void on disable. And inside of here, we're gonna do mc.game settings dot keybind jump dot pressed equals false super dot on disable. We're gonna go down and do, we're gonna override again. And this one's gonna be a public void on update. Ooh, I have not done this in a while. And we're gonna do if this dot is toggled then it's gonna return as mc.gamesettings.keepbindjump.pressed equals false. And that's all for bunny hop. So we're gonna go inside of our uh, module manager and add it. So new mod, new bunny hop. I think I capitalized it. Yep. All right. Should oddly. Oh, that's not what I named it. Oh, huh. I need to rename this class. Hold on. I named it wrong. Bunny hop. Uh, that's fine. There we go. Now it fixes everything. So now we have bunny hop. Next, we're going to do chest stealer. And I'm actually going to make a new package. And this one's going to be player. You could put it in whatever like type of organization you're doing. I just like putting it in here. So chess stealer. The chess stealer I'm gonna be making you like in game, you do not need to enable it. It's just automatically gonna be enabled. So when you go to a chest, the buttons and everything just pop up. Because I think that's much more simpler than going through manually enabling it. And yeah. So for the super um we're just gonna name it whatever we want. Sorry, um, I have my uh, code popped up for it. And in here, we're going to just name it chest stealer. We're not gonna put a key bind and then category dot player. Maybe player, there we go. And actually we're not gonna be putting anything in this class, but we do have to make it. And so what we're gonna do is actually go in here, go above all of our things and add a chest stealer here. Don't ask why. Uh, it's just like the way we're going to be making the GUI just makes it like this. So we're going to import it. And I'm actually going to change that. All right. So now we need to edit. Uh, so we're done with our stuff. We need to go into net.minecraft client. GUI, here we go, GUI inventory, GUI chest, and we're going to go to the very bottom, right here, and as always, uh, we are going to actually leave a note in here, uh, this is, what client is this I am making, Paradox, alright, so we're going to come here and add a note saying Paradox, because we're editing the actual Minecraft code right now, and so if we mess up, this points us back to where we were. 
So for here, we're going to do public void init GUI. And instead of here, we're going to do super dot initiate GUI. And we're going to go down a little bit and do int position Y. That's going to equal height minus Y size. And that's going to divide it by two and add two to it. No pun intended. And then we're going to do button list dot add. We're going to make a new GUI button. So the button ID is going to be one. The X is going to be the width divided by two minus 40. Y is going to be the position Y that we set earlier. And uh, we actually need to add a couple more things. We're going to do comma. 40 comma 12 comma and this is going to be the steel button and i'm going to copy this line down because we're just making another button this is going to be the store button so we can just have it store everything but in here we need to change some things so this is going to be two everything in here is going to be the same except instead of minus 40 it's going to be plus 10. all right so now the init gui is done we're going to go down two more and do at override public void action performed gui button as button and this is going to throw the io exception Oh, all right. So now in here, we're going to do super dot action performed button. And we're going to do if the button dot ID equals one. It's going to run a new thread, which is going to be new runnable. And we're going to do this. Uh, we're actually going to delete that parenthesis for now. We'll add it back later. And instead of here, you're going to keep getting this error until we fix it. I'll show you guys. Okay, actually, we'll just fix it now. Put it there. You'll see why in a minute. Trust me, it fixes everything. All right. So now we need to... Actually, no, we're going to do that later. Sorry. After runnable, we're going to do at override public void run... And then here it's going to try or int i equals zero. I is less than a GUI chest dot this dot this dot inventory rows times nine i plus plus. And then here we're going to do slot slot equals slot gui chest dot this dot inventory slots dot inventory slots dot get and the index is going to be i because that's what we set it to all right and we actually are going to need to import the minecraft uh inventory and that'll do it so under here, we're going to do if slot dot get stack does not equal null. Then it's going to do thread dot sleep for 250 milliseconds. And we're going to do GUI chest dot this dot handle mouse click slot slot dot slot number zero one and we're gonna do that again so gui chest dot this dot handle mouse click it's gonna be slot slot dot slot number zero this one's gonna be six all right so now we need to go down to here and do oh crap i lied to you we're going to go here and type catch 
Okay, I keep lying to you guys. I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't mean to lie. I just lie. We're going to go here and do catch the exception e e dot print stack trace and then we're gonna go down to this one do that go down and do dot start and there that made one button this was the steal button now we got to make the store button huh gotta love coding so underneath start we're gonna go down one bracket or yeah bracket else if button dot id equals two then we're gonna make another new thread it's basically gonna be the same code but some things are gonna be different so technically i could have just copy and pasted but where's the fun in that so we're gonna make a new runnable at override public void run gonna try this so it's gonna try for int i equals gui chest dot this dot inventory rows times nine and we're gonna do i is less than gui chest dot this dot oh inventory rows times nine plus 44 colon semicolon i plus plus all right and now inside of here we're gonna do slot slot equals slot and this is gonna be gui chest dot this dot inventory slots dot inventory slots dot get i is the index and now go down if slot dot get stack does not equal null then it's going to be thread dot sleep for 250 milliseconds and we're going to do gui chest dot this dot handle mouse click and this is going to be slot slot dot slot number zero one it's literally gonna be the same code as up there we just had to change a couple things on the first line or so then we're gonna go down and do change this to six um just real quick i need to check something in the code Yeah, we're good. Um, we're gonna come here. This, uh, sorry. Here, this is going to catch the earlier exception that we did. So exception E. We're gonna do E dot stack or not? Come on, E dot stack. I can't spell stack. Get stack trace. Oh my. No, print stack chase. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind today. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. And then we're going to come here. Oh, that needs to... Stack trace. Put that there. I think I can get rid of this one. No, I need that. This is also going to... Um, yeah. And this is going to be dot start. Maybe, hold on. Let's see what I did wrong. I'm just pasting the new code in. Alright, that's how it should be. Ah, okay. So now, oh. Error. Oh, I didn't put semicolons. There we go. So now let's run the game. Oh, that's why I, I put that as false. That's supposed to be true. My bad, guys. Alright, gotta restart the game. I think I ran it as debug. 
No, I didn't run it as debug. All right, yeah, never mind. So now we press Z, as you can see. Uh, I'm not touching my spacebar. Like it's just doing it. So B hop works. Let's grab. Let's go into game mode. One. Find the chest. And as you see, we have a steal and store button. Now if we press store, it will take all of the items. And if we press steal, it will take all the items. Just to show that it does work, let's just... Ah, crap. I was trying to press all my numbers. Let's just... Let's get tons of stuff. It doesn't matter where it's at in your inventory. If we press store, it will take everything and store it. Steal. And there you go. That is it for this video, guys. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you leave a like. Let me know what you want down below, because I am trying to do whatever you guys want in the comic section. Cause comic session? No, comment session. Section. And so, I actually gotta go. I gotta go to work. But, yes, if you guys did enjoy, I think I already said subscribe, leave a like. Let me know how you liked the video, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.